It's definitely shadier now. And it's getting darker, too. It's almost night. Maybe now we'll see some desert animals. What's up, visitors? Frankie Frutifossa here. Welcome to my desert. Hi, Frankie. The conductor in the dinosaur train pulled us to look for you. We're the Pteranodons. I'm Tiny, and these are my brothers, Buddy and Dawn. This is my sister, Shiny, and her dad, Dad. Ha-ha, <laughs> Bing Bong, what a bunch. Glad to meet you all. You came here to see this place at night, huh? Yeah, but isn't the desert just as hot at night as it is during the day? Well, it pretty much is hot temperatures in Snoozeville around here while the sun is out, but I think you'll really like the nighttime. Oh, speaking of which, looks like we're there. I'll tell you what, I like you guys, so I will personally take you on a Frankie tour to night desert. You in? Yes! yes. We're, we're in! in. Oh, come on! Okay, count with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Open your eyes. Welcome to night time. Look at all those creatures. Yep, it's night time. Oh, time to shine. Incoming! I can't believe how busy the desert is now. It's like a completely different place. Oh, it's sticking around, huh? Yeah! Hi, Artie. Oh, hey, Norman. Hello, Mabel. Wow, you know everyone here, Frankie. Well, this is my home. I lived here all my life. So, you ready for that tour? Yes! Well, you got your ginkgo, your cycads, seed ferns, your monkey puzzle tree, all with specially adapted roots and leaves that store water. That's a lizard. That there's a scorpion. Oh, that's my cousin Fiona Frutifossa, all looking for food. So, I guess that most desert animals are nocturnal. But a bingo, buddy. Very smart. Frankie, do you and the other nocturnal creatures sleep during the day in your holes? Exactly. I sleep in a hole during the day, and then the sun goes down, but boom My real day begins. I really want to see inside a hole and a fruit or fossil tunnel. Uh, we haven't been invited, Don. Oh, you want in? Oh, sure thing, Don. I am inviting you. I dug a bunch of them around here. I'm your guy. Really? You're that dead? Frankie's our guy. Let's go in a hole. Yeah! Wait, what are we doing? This is so great. Look at all these tunnels. Did you dig this burrow, Frankie? With my own two paws, we have a lot of tunnels. That's what us diggers like to dig. Impressive. You coming down, Shiny? Very impressive, but I'll stay up here with Dad. Thanks. Do you sleep and eat right here? I do, but if it gets too busy, I just go farther down below where it's cooler and quieter. Gets too busy? Oh, I see. If I lived here, I'd always stay down below because it's so hot up in the desert. Are you Tyrannodons ready for another little surprise? Oh, yeah, we'd love a surprise. Okay, then. Back up top we go. So what's the surprise, Frankie? <sighs> hey, it's kind of cool out now. Frankie, can you please show us the surprise before it gets any colder? <sighs> it's pretty cold now. Wow. Yeah, is this even the same desert? Surprise, surprise! It's cold! How could this have... Happen. Well, after the sun goes down, the desert remains warm for a little while, but then BAM! Comes really cold. Sometimes very cold. And get this, there are even some deserts that are always cold. I know, sounds nutty, but it's true. Dinosaur, once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.